Welcome to a presentation on shifting graphs horizontally. Uh, today we're going to look at particularly this graph, y equals x squared, as an example. And we're going to see how we can shift graphs to the right and to the left of the origin quite easily. Maybe e it's, it's easier than you first may think. Uh, so let's have a look at, at this here. We've, we've got here that the, the graph of y equals x squared is sketched in blue. You can see here, this is the conventional graph of y equals x squared, which we should be familiar with by now. And the first part here says, sketch the graph of y equals, and then all in brackets, x minus 1, and that's squared. Well, in order to do that, we might take the conventional approach, and that is to draw up a table of values. So we can draw up a table of x values and associated y values, and let's do that now. Um, so let's have a look at, say, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, and 3. Let's have a look at, let's evaluate this function for these particular x values, and then we'll plot them on this graph. So here at x equals minus 1, we're going to have y equals minus 1, because x is minus 1, minus 1, minus 1, all squared. This is going to be minus 1 minus 1, that's minus 2 squared. Negative 2 times negative 2, well, negative times negative is a positive, and 2 times 2 is 4, so here, y is going to equal 4. Okay, what about for x equals 0? Well, x equals 0, we're going to have 0 minus 1, all squared. That's going to be minus 1 squared. It's going to be negative 1 times negative 1. Again, a negative times a negative is a positive, and 1 times 1 is 1. So here we're going to have 0 and 1. What about x equals 1? Well, x equals 1, we're going to get 1 minus 1 squared, that's going to be 0 squared, since 1 minus 1 is 0, and that's just going to be 0, since 0 times 0 is 0. What about at x equals 2? Well, at x equals 2, we're going to have 2 minus 1 squared. That's going to be 1 squared, it's just going to be 1. What about at x equals 3? Well, at x equals 3, we're going to have 3 minus 1 squared. 3 minus 1 is 2, so it's going to be 2 squared. 2 squared is 4. So in other words, we're going to have these coordinate points. We're going to have minus 1 and 4. We're going to have 0 and 1. We're going to have 1 and 0. We're going to have 2 and 1. And we're going to have 3 and 4. Let's go ahead and plot these coordinate points. So here we've got minus 1 and 4. That's one unit left of the origin and four units up. Here we've got 0 and 1, that's 0 units left to the right of the origin and 1 unit up. Here 1 and 0, that's 1 unit right of the origin and 0 units up or down. 2 and 1, that's 2 units right of the origin and 1 unit up. And 3 and 4, that's 3 units right of the origin and 4 units up. So it looks like this is going to take a similar shape to this blue curve. So it looks like it's going to look like a parabola or a quadratic function. It's just going to be shifted over a little. So let's see if we can... Do a bit of a hand sketch here. There we go. So it's not the greatest sketch I've ever done, but that's okay. Uh, so that looks like uh, that, well, this is the, the graph of y equals x minus 1. Now, interestingly, as I just noted, this, this parabola looks exactly like this original parabola, just shifted one unit to the right. And you might say, well, Mark, that's interesting because our original graph here, it's y equals x minus 1 all squared. So we've got the unit 1 here, and we've got this shifted one unit to the right. Is there some correspondence between this algebraic form and this graphical form? And the answer would be yes, there is. There's actually a couple of rules which, uh, which govern how graphs are shifted horizontally. And I've drawn them below. Uh, I've just uncovered them now. So... Here we've got two rules in pink. The first is to shift the graph of a function a units to the right, replace x with x minus a in the functional form. Or alternatively, to shift the graph of a function a units to the left, replace x with x plus a. Let's have a look here. So our original function in blue was y equals x squared. And then we, we said here that this graph is the same as this, this orange graph is the same as this blue graph, just shifted one unit to the right. 
Let's go down to our definitions. It says, to shift the graph of function a units to the right, replace x with x minus a. So that implies that if we've got this original y equals x squared, and we want to replace it, we want to uh, shift it one unit to the right, one unit to the right, we should replace wherever we see x here with x minus one. Let's go ahead and do that. So y equals, here we're going to have instead of x, x minus one squared. So this, this rule says that this orange expression is the same as, or has the graphical form of the same graph as y equals x squared, just shifted one unit to the right. And sure enough, it's exactly the same as this graph that we, uh, that we found above, y equals x minus one, all squared. And sure enough, that is one unit to the right. So that, that's quite convenient. It took us not long at all to go from this step to this step. Whereas it took quite a bit of time to actually graph this function over here. Uh, and we can see that this is just much quicker. Um, and to make this quite explicit, what, what, what's happening with, with this shifting, pretty much every point here is just shifted one unit to the right. So for instance, this blue point here, this is just shifted one unit here. We've got this blue point here, this has been shifted one unit to the right here. This point, this point, and this point, they've all been shifted one unit to the right. So that's what we mean when we say we're shifting a graph one unit to the right. So we, we can see that this whole graph has just been shifted. Every point is just one unit to the right of the point where it was before uh, by replacing this y equals x squared with y equals x minus one all squared. Okay, well that's useful uh, to know. Now it's asked us to sketch, sketch the graph of y equals x plus three all squared. And instead of going through this process of drawing up x and y values, instead we're going to use these definitions. So again, we've got this, let's just erase this first graph that we did. So what we've got here is, uh, it's asked us to sketch the graph of y equals x plus three. Well, let's write in blue our original graph. We know what the shape of y equals x squared is. And we're trying to get y equals x plus three. We're trying to draw that graph. So what do we have to do to y equals x squared to get this form y equals x plus three? Well, what we have to do is uh, we have to replace x with x plus three. That's what's happening here. So if we were to replace x with x plus three, these are, these are the same these are the same functions. And all we've all we've done here is we replaced x with x plus three. And if we go down to our our rules here, it says our bottom rule says to shift the graph of a function a units to the left, replace x with x plus a. Well, we've replaced x with x plus three. That must mean that the the graph of this function is the same as the graph of the original function, shifted three units to the left. So let's go ahead and do that. That means that we're going to have uh, some points that we drew here before, so sort of these are important points. So each one of these points is going to be shifted three units to the left. So here it's going to be one, two, three. So we're going to have this point here. This point's going to be one, two, three units the left. This one's going to be one, two, three units to the left. This one's going to be one, two, three. It's going to be right here. This one's going to be one, two, three units to the left. So if we connect these points together, we're going to get a graph that looks like that. So this purple graph, you're going to have to ignore these, these lines that are just indicating where each of these points is being drawn. This purple graph, this is the same as this original blue graph, just shifted three units to the left. And that's a much quicker way of drawing this, uh, of sketching this uh, the graph of this function, than drawing up x and y, uh, a list of x and y coordinates and then plotting them. This, this method is still useful, but this is just much quicker. Certainly if you ever encounter a functional form that looks very familiar, and the only change that functional form 
is that the x has been replaced with x minus a, or the x has been replaced with x plus a. Following these rules can be very convenient in order to, uh, to quickly sketch the function and to find out its, its graphical form. Okay, so that's an introduction to shifting graphs horizontally.